Hello, welcome to The Buzz. It is our mid-season report. So I'm going to talk in a teacher voice. Wait, teachers don't talk like that. Who cares what teachers talk like? I'm going to tell you this much. Right now, there are several unbeaten teams in the area. It starts in Class A with Norfolk High. The Panthers coming off a 59-0 win over Omaha Bryan. Moves them to 5-0, and and they have a showdown this week. They will host the number one team in the state, Millard West. The Wildcats also 5-0. and They're coming off a big win over one of their rival Millard schools. Uh, ought to be a great contest, and it'll tell us a lot about the Panthers on Friday at Memorial Field in Norfolk. In Class C1, another one of our local teams, Norfolk Catholic, they are unbeaten on the year. They're outscoring their opponents at this point on the season, 41.8 to 10.6. That's pretty impressive. In Class C2, we have Battle Creek and West Holt as our two unbeaten teams. Battle Creek and Murderers Row at the end of the year. They travel to Cedar Catholic and West Holt before hosting Ainsworth and Lutheran High Northeast. West Holt is that other unbeaten team in Class C2. Got to see them play last week. West Holt is very talented. They don't have a lot of depth, but they're playing great defense right now. Offensively, they have a great trio in quarterback Riley Rumpel Bilstein, Braden, don't call me Milady Milady. And Peyton Williams, he wears number 34 and carries the ball with the name Peyton. You can't ask for much more than that. They have a couple tough games remaining, too, with Battle Creek, Lutheran High, and Crofton finishing their schedule. Lutheran High is another team in Class C, too, that you want to look out for. Lutheran High is, is going to Crofton a big game this week. Stanton and Oakland Craig, two other teams in Class C, too, that are very talented, that will meet this week in all likelihood to decide their district title. In Class D1, Clarkson Lee is an impressive team. 46-6 win over Howells Dodge last week. Kobe Propas. I can't say your name when I can't move my lips, Kobe. We'll just pretend I can say your last name. A very talented quarterback for the Patriots, Creighton, another unbeaten team in Class D1. They have outscored their last three opponents 186 to 22. A couple other teams to watch in Class D1, Elgin Public Pope John and Neely Oakdale. Elgin Public Pope John coming off a big win, 36-14 over Clearwater Orchard. Andrew Fangman, give him the ball, he'll run with it and he'll probably score touchdowns. He is very good at making touchdowns happen on a football field. In Class D2 right now, there's three undefeated teams, Chambers Wheeler Central, Osmond, and Stewart. Other teams to watch in that class currently, Humphrey, St. Francis, and why not? Let me tell you this much, I have nothing but love for Stewart. I've enjoyed following the Broncos over the last couple years. They finally eke their way into our area ratings at number eight. I need you to show me something, Stewart. You have a chance this weekend when you travel to Chambers Wheeler Central. You win that game, Stewart, you're gonna tell me that, hey, Dexter Goodner is in control of this program like he should be. I believe he is anyway. But I want you to show me something. You have a chance this week. Ads do Boone Central, Newman Grove, Pierce, Millard West, Norfolk High, Oakland, Craig Stanton. Several other teams. We'll talk about those games as we move on to the second half of the season next week on The Buzz. Until then, remember that the Cookie Monster is your best friend only when you are sitting in the ketchup factory in Pittsburgh. That's the Heinz Company. For The Buzz, I'm Tom Beamer.